Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this month's edition of The Big Question. This month, we review the blessing and the curse of all-time market highs. What do we do if the market keeps going up? This is often followed by comments like, it just doesn't make sense to me, or I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop, or this can't last forever, can it? Unfortunately, no, it can't. So what's to be done about it? Pick a number, move the cash, and wait? Pile into the best performing sector or stock and just ride the wave as long as we can. What about move everything to gold, cryptocurrency, or just put it under your mattress? Now, I can hear some of you laughing, which is fair, but you shouldn't. These are all strategies that we've unfortunately come across, none of which are very likely to increase your chances for long-term success. This is why we at Persilium prefer to live in the world of preparedness rather than predictions. As we've seen in many of Jerry's Financial Planning Friday videos, when the market begins to move higher, this may continue for some time, continuing to set new all-time highs over and over until we've reached a point where we're now uncomfortable with these new all-time highs. At a certain point during this climb, it stops feeling like a healthy, well-performing market and seems to transition over into the world of mania. Prices are soaring, valuations are out of whack, and it can, well, it most certainly will, feel like you are crazy, dumb, or just completely missing something. Missing out while your neighbors, colleagues, and cousins get rich on an individual stock you've never heard of or a cryptocurrency or some other investment with a valuation that is hard to wrap your head around. It is crucially important during these times to work back to our plan, both our investment plan and our financial plan, which go hand in hand. Two questions I find most important and helpful during moments like these are, what is the rate of return that I need for my plan to be successful? And what is the one action that I could take today to blow up my plan? What you'll find when answering these questions is that your current investment strategy is often the most likely strategy to ensure a successful outcome for your plan, while the investment strategy that you are tempted to use is often the one more likely to blow up your plan. Now, I will admit, it's a difficult feeling to combat, especially when we feel like we're missing out. We're forced to stare down a lot of what ifs and woulda, coulda, shouldas. This is why it can be helpful to have a trusted sounding board, particularly in the form of your financial advisor or advisory team. Similar to a calming voice during times of significant market downturns, it can also be incredibly helpful to have someone there to remind you what you're doing and why as you fight those feelings and temptations. Ultimately, this is what a firm like Priscillium is here for to help our clients continue to work back to their plan as our guiding star throughout all the ups and downs that we'll inevitably see along the way. Because if the goals haven't changed, then the plan shouldn't change. Thanks again for joining me, everyone. Until next month.